Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick. And uh, first and foremost, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate like all the outpouring of support and uh, positivity and kind messages and, and comments and everything like that. It's actually been like overwhelming. Uh, I didn't know there was that many people that actually like gave a shit about my personal life. So that is really cool. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Um, so again, thank you so much. I do have, I got my kid with me this weekend and uh, we're having some fun. I had told you that I had went to a store and picked up a few items last week, a place called Game Swap that I told you was absolutely magnificent. I fell in love with it. Well, I'm here again. I talked to Christian about it and he was like, dude, you just gotta make a video of that place. Like go in there, make a video. So here I am at Game Swap and this is gonna be a video of me shopping at Game Swap and also showing you this place called Game Swap that is the only one in Ohio. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Um, it's like privately owned by two individuals who my buddy, producer Phil, knows actually. So um, super cool. So screw it, I'm done blabbing. Let's go into Game Swap and see what this is all about.
All right, so I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked to. I didn't know their policy on it. One of the guys working there was kind of being weird about me, almost like, I don't know if you assume like I'm gonna like steal something or whatever because I was taking so long in there. But as you guys know, that's because I'm a nerd and I couldn't help but look at everything. So I looked at a bunch of stuff. I was in there for probably like an hour. I hope a lot of the footage I did get will suffice and you guys can go, man, that's badass because I think the place is super cool. There's a lot more to it. It's massive. I wanted to do like an overview shot of the whole place. But, you know, my six foot four ass doing that with my arms up, everyone's going to be like, what's this guy doing? But whatever. So I did pick up a few movies. I'm not going to wait till I get home to do this. I'm just going to do this right now and show you guys what I got. First, I picked up the Blu-ray of Shark Night, which I think is a fun little 3D horror movie, shark movie. I've always really enjoyed Shark Night. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. It's, you know, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's not incredible, but I think it's a fun head and picked up a movie that I have actually never seen. And I've had many people in live chats and whatnot tell me, oh my God, you got to pick this movie up, Nick. It's, it's great. It's incredible. There's a bug of some kind in here. Get your ass out of here. Don't know where it went. Maybe I'll eat it. Who cares? And that is Stir of Echoes, Kevin Bacon. I've heard really good things about Stir of Echoes. I like Kevin Bacon. The Blu-ray was $4 and it's in really good condition. So I said, screw it, why not? A Kevin Bacon horror mystery thriller suspense movie on Blu-ray for four bucks that I've heard really good things about, why not give it a shot? So Stir of Echoes. I also picked up a movie that I have always loved and I've never owned and I don't know why I haven't owned it up to this point. That's my bad, but I rectified that by getting Disturbia, uh, again, Four bucks. I freaking love this movie. This was my introduction to Shia LaBeouf, I think. Same summer as Transformers. So, yes. Uh, Transformers and Disturbia in the same summer was... Oh, no, I had seen him in Holes. But this is when he was starting to come into his own. And um, I really, really love him in this movie. I really like him as an actor anyway. And just as a dude. I know that might be controversial. Whatever. Sue me. But uh, Disturbia. Uh, a movie I've always been a really big fan of. One of my favorite kinds of those movies. And then the last thing I picked up, and this was simply just because of the retro art. Never, I've, I've seen this in people's videos before. I have never seen this out in the wild, like in a store. Well, today that changed. I picked up this, let, let me see, Anchor Bay DVD of Evil Dead 2. Look at that. And, and some of you guys probably own this. You're probably like, yeah, Nick, I've seen this. Whatever, dude, that's like 20 years old. I know that, but that's why I picked it up because it's so retro and cool looking. I just, I saw the art and I was, I was like, come on. They had a couple more like really retro versions of some of the Evil Dead movies. So I will be back here to pick them up. But yeah, I just really dug that art. So I had to have it. You guys know Evil Dead's one of my favorite horror franchises. Evil Dead, Scream, you know, they're right, they're right after Halloween. So that is what I picked up. I hope you guys got a really good look at the store. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys want to see more. I'm going to try to talk to the owner next time I'm here when he's a little less busy, hopefully, and say, hey, do you mind if I really give like an in-depth dive into your store? Um, but until then, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on social media. Make sure to listen to the You Need a Horror podcast over on Planet CHH on YouTube, or you can check it out on all audio platforms now. Thank you so much. This is Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and I am literally pulling out.